Hey everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a metal furnace, an aluminum furnace, out of a paint can. So, first you need another materials. So you have, all you, all you need for this project is really simple, is a paint can, some concrete, a couple of bricks or something that won't burn to hold the paint can on while it's cooking, some charcoal, duct tape, and your s essential safety stuff, you know, safety glasses, mask, because you're going to be working with smoke. You're going to need a hair dryer, some metal piping, and something to puncture the paint can with. I have a shortage on tools. I do not recommend using a flathead screwdriver, but if you need to, this will work just fine. Just bang it with a hammer to put it in, sort of like a chisel. Something to grab and bend the metal with, like some pliers. A steel cup, preferably one in better shape than this, but this is steel nevertheless and it will work. That actually is my old cat's food bowl, but by the way, just saying. And you'll need some concrete. So, first off, what you do is you take your paint can and you want to scrape all that ex excess paint out. The stuff here doesn't matter as much on the sides, but you really do want to get as much as that out because the fumes really are noxious and hurt your lungs pretty badly. Second, you want to take all this uh, paper off of the paint can because I found out in one of my earlier experiments that it catches, paper happens to catch on fire. <laughs> you'll need, and you, the third thing you'll do, take the paint can lid, take the screwdriver, Hit it with a hammer and poke a few holes in this. This will serve as the vent. So then, I took my concrete, Quickrete, by the way, in case you wanted to use the brand I did, um, uh, 50 pounds. I only needed about 10 pounds of it, actually. It was really simple. So I took the concrete, mixed it with water, and, um, lined it against the sides of my paint can here let me go get you my first project the first one that i tried here it is so what i did is i took this concrete and i lined it along the sides like this and hauled it up inserted something inside like a small like flower pot to hold it open so it didn't collapse overnight while it was hardening i took so once that hardened i think you uh my advice is Filling it all the way to the top, yet leaving enough room for your chosen steel bowl to fit in nicely. It can fit in tight like mine as long as it has holes like here for the gaps for the smoke to get out. Otherwise it'll go out, or, well, it needs somewhere to go. So, what you do, well, what I did after you uh, have the concrete dry, make sure while it's drying that you have a hole poked in the bottom about this big or however big you want it to be for the pipe I suggested only about no more than two inches across because the coal will start falling through that um, so you poke the hole in so once this dries you have this all set up I suggest getting this part out of the way before you do anything else just take a little bit of chicken wire and cover, it, cover the bottom up so it doesn't the falling coal does not clog up the pipe. So, um, what you do then, after you have the coal, or after you have the actual furnace part done, is you take the, um, the metal piping that you have, you take the metal piping that you have, and you would take it, I used PVC for my first attempt. That is not a good idea at all. This is what happened to it. It ended up blowing out the blow dryer and wrecking it. So, yeah. So you take your metal piping, you'd tape it to the end of your metal tube here. Uh, make sure that metal is preferably steel because that won't melt in the temperatures you're going to be achieving. So you tape it to there, um, preferably get the uh, elbow and put it up so it's facing into the 
bottom of the of the furnace and then you secure it preferably welding I don't have a welding machine so I use duct tape that works fine it ends up smoking a lot but it'll hold as long as it's got constant direct contact so then what I did I now once you have all that done you're ready to cook so, well not cook but melt aluminum and steel or not steel aluminum and tin so you have I set that up like this I took my pipe I put it in there and had it made I had it set up like that I, that's just a rough replica obviously the pipes are too burnt <laughs> to put back together again don't use PVC but I set it up I attached my blow dryer to my pipe put it in there and turned it on well actually you have to light the coal and wait for it to burn down a little bit to turn it on and I actually got really close to melting it before my dryer my blow dryer blew out so yeah again because of the PVC clogging and melting that didn't work out completely so yeah I just hope that you learned a little bit off of this give you a few ideas for your furnace if you wish to make one yeah thanks for watching